Contracts have been signed and three tunnel boring machines from Germany have been delivered to Mexico. An aging wastewater system there is literally bursting at the seams and needs replacing. Everything was on schedule until the unthinkable happened. Here you can see where the water bursts through. Here where the camera is panning you can see the sandbags we use to build barricades. But at that moment, we decided that everything had to be cleared out. We thought, this doesn't look good. We've lost the machine. Rolando Justa has been through a lot. The Spaniard has led Herrenknecht projects around the world. But this is a first, his tunnel boring machine underwater. After the flooding, the erector stood underwater. So were the pumps and electrical system. Luckily, the power supply up here stayed dry. That's more than 3,000 volts. If that had come into contact with water, we all would have been dancing. The incident cost Rolando Justa and his team in Mexico City half a year. Even now, things haven't been going smoothly. The Herrenknecht chief engineer has to report regularly to his client, the project director at Mexico's National Water Authority, Conagua. Nothing is happening at the construction site yet again, and that's depressing Jose Miguel Guevara. It's his job to ensure the government's timetable is met. Work resumed here in August 2010. It's behind schedule, but at least it's progressing. Tunnel boring machine S497 has dried out again. It can only be entered from the rear. The cutter head at the other end is deep underground. The machine is nearly 100 meters long and is outfitted with a steering system, power supply, and other equipment. The machine is capable of building a tunnel wall as it works. Theoretically, water shouldn't be able to seep through the wall, but the team discovers a leak and the machine is stopped. This is where the water is seeping in. Water is arguably the biggest enemy of tunnel builders, and the closer the project gets to Mexico City's center, the more water there is in the surrounding soil. The water seeping in here comes from an intersecting wastewater canal located above and mixes with the groundwater. The extent of the damage is still unclear. It's not easy. We have to do a precise analysis of the problem so that this doesn't generate into a disaster. Is it a delayed effect of the flooding? A maintenance error? Anything is possible. It's exactly the type of problem we're faced with, which is why we're building the new wastewater tunnel, in order to prevent flooding from the old canal and the central tunnel. On the one hand, such things hold us up. On the other hand, they show us how urgent the work that we're doing here is. Six machines are being used to build the new tunnel, okay. three of them from the German company Herrenknecht. This is shaft zero with machine 497, the first to be started. And this is shaft five where it connects. At this point, as we saw, is where the major flooding was. The second machine starts here and runs up to here. Every tunnel segment starts at a vertical shaft and ends at the next one, 10 to 12 kilometers away. The tunnel will stretch some 62 kilometers. The degree of difficulty for the machine depends on the composition of the ground it has to bore through. 
Aquí hay que darle mucha más We agua. had problems in this area in particular. There used to be a lake here. That's why there's so much water. It's really difficult here at the end. There are several different factors. Soft earth, hard rock, even pieces of meteorite. Water pockets under six bars of pressure. There are new surprises every day. At long last, we move forward next week in our fourth and final installment. Each Herring Connect machine has to complete 300 meters of tunnel. Only then will the client take over the machinery and the responsibility. Will the engineers fulfill their contracts, or are there more disruptions in store?